Hi, so we're in our next week of, uh, of Lent, so we're going to do a cod recipe today. Most people are familiar with doing a, uh, a fried cod. We're going to do a different adaptation on that. We're going to do a baked cod, but we're going to ensure that it's going to stay moist because we're going to wrap it. Lots of people have seen uh, recipes with using parchment paper. Parchment paper um, really just blocks in the juices. We're going to do that same concept, but we're going to do it with aluminum foil. So this will give us a nice seam. We don't have to worry about trying to fold it or seam it. We can basically just crump it together. So we have our two cod uh, fillets here. We're going to do, the first thing is going to season them with salt and pepper. So a little bit of salt on each one, just a little bit, just enough to give it some good flavor. A little bit of black pepper. And then we've pre-cut some vegetables here. So we have a few um, yellow peppers. We're just gonna put those on top of each one. Some shallots, and shallots are an onion. They're just a little bit sweeter than you would get in a red onion, so they're not quite as pungent, so they're going to give you a nice mild flavor. So we're going to add our uh, shallot, and then we have a little bit of fresh dill that we're going to put over the top here. And if some gets on the bottom of the, or outside of the fish, that's fine, because we're basically going to make a sauce with the butter that we're going to put in. And this is a Market District product. It's uh, Chardonnay Shallot Butter. So this is basically a, a finishing butter or compound butter. So taking whole butter and then um, whipping in uh, fresh ingredients to it. So this one has a little bit of wine, has some shallots, uh, salt, a little bit of pepper. And you can do that at home as well, just taking your fresh butter and adding in whatever seasoning you want. We could add in our, our fresh dill to that as well. And then we're going to put a couple dollops on the top of each piece. Now if you don't get to the store, the Market District store, to buy the finishing butter, Whole butter will work just as well. You've already got your salt, your pepper, your herb there, so you're going to get some flavor. The finishing butter is just going to give it a little bit more flavor. And then we're going to push these a little bit closer together. And we're going to meet this in the top, roll it so that it's going to form a seam so that none of our steam can come out. And then fold each end in. And this does, there's no perfect way to do this. It's not going to be this pretty thing that you get at the restaurant with a swan that they fold it into. It's just to, to form a pouch. And then close it in without touching the fish. You want to have as much as or the least amount of space on the inside so that the, the um, all the heat can come through. And it's basically just going to steam your fish on the inside. We're going to put that in the oven in about eight minutes. We're going to eat. So we have our cod is wrapped and ready to go. Uh, we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven. The temperatures can vary, so you can do either 325, 375. It really just ultimately depends upon how long it's going to cook based on the temperature of the oven. So at 350, we're looking at about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, depending on the size of your fish. We had about five and a half ounce pieces, so it'll take that long. So we're gonna just put it in our oven. So it's been about eight and a half minutes. Uh, we got caught talking a minute, so I think our fish is going to be ready to go. The only real way to know is you have to base it off of time and then open it up to look. So if you give it a good eight to nine minutes, there shouldn't be any issues, but let's go take a look over here at our table and see what we ended up with. So we're going to unfold our, unroll our ends, and you can see that there's some juice that, uh, a little bit that's come out, and our nice steam, oh, and our fish looks fantastic. So we've got our peppers, it smells fantastic, and we've got a, a nice sauce on the bottom there. So we'll take that over, serve that with some rice. You don't need to do anything else to it, it's ready to eat.